that because I really want to, um, I want to show people that side of things. And to be honest with you, what I really, really, really want to say is if anyone is dealing with the same kind of issues as me, I would totally be there for you. Because dealing with it alone is one of the worst things that you could ever do. It's so hard. It's really hard. Sorry. I've um, been having some issues over the past week and I had to go to um, I had to go to the doctor and get my meds changed, so I'm dealing with meds change too. So I know that there's a lot of reasons that things could be happening, but sometimes things get so dark it's hard to even know what's real. And they make me believe things like people are watching me and I don't I don't know how to know what's real sometimes because I want to believe that there's a reason for everything so there has to be a reason for this but what reason could there be that I have to be tortured to the point that I can't even see I can't hear can't feel anything outside of them. It's just everything that they want me to be, I become because I have no idea what else is. What else is. I think that one of the biggest things for me doing this is that no one should ever have to hide their issues from the world. No one should ever have to, but I know that we do because people judge. They judge so quickly that they don't they don't even give a second to understand. And I want people to feel safe and being able to discuss their issues with the world. I think that if we all were able to talk about it, we probably would find a lot of things that we can relate on. And I've, I've seen a lot of people that are dealing with a lot of issues lately too, so I know I'm not the only one in the world. And I would love, I would love for them to just talk to me about it, because I really, really think that I need to hear that I'm not alone. Because <laughs> it feels so lonely sometimes. So dark and so lonely. It's it's so hard to explain. It's it's like like they paint this picture that that things just appear and, and a filter is there. It's 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 like my photos that I make, my drawings that I draw. A lot like that. <sighs> I just need a moment to breathe, sorry. They make me feel like such a horrible person that I don't even know how to feel about myself. I have become so insecure lately because of them. <laughs> it's hard to love yourself sometimes when they keep telling you what a horrible person you are. They just make you feel like you deserve it. All that pain that they give you. to relax when they don't 
It's like like a lot of just this, like you just, everything is, and then you just, you have no idea what to focus on, what to do, what to say, what to feel, what to, to look at, how to, how to react, what to think. Your thoughts become them. You know, when this first started showing up, I, I thought it was because I was doing drugs. And I was. I was doing drugs. I'm clean. Clean and sober. I drink occasionally, but... I've never... I've never had a massive issue with it. Except for when it... When this gets really bad. And I've been working really hard at trying to make sure that I limit myself. One or two drinks here and there. I try not to drink a lot of hard alcohol because that to me is one of the things that really could be bad as well. And I, I think that I deserve every once in a while to be able to go out and have a party time, you know? But sometimes I wonder if... If I should stay sober, because I have done it before, through alcohol, a couple of years I was sober, um, I did really well, it was, it was actually, after I turned 27, um, not too long before I started writing my book, I, um, I had a, an incident, um, I cleansed my liver, I, I was doing a lot of health things, just trying to stay healthy, because I really helped my brain, it really helped my brain, and I haven't been healthy, and I know that that's one reason it's going so bad, but I did such an amazing job at keeping myself healthy, I just had that moment on my 27th birthday where I went out with my friends, and I, you know, I didn't even think about it. I cleansed my liver for the whole week before that. And, and then the next day, and that night, that night, I, um, I couldn't remember coming into the house. I didn't remember any of it at all. Um, I woke up and I had throw up, um, to the side of me. Um, I was lucky I didn't choke on it. And then um, that whole next day, I was in massive pain. I couldn't stop throwing up. I was just all over the place. Um, I found out later that when you cleanse your liver, it becomes like a baby liver again, like it had never had alcohol before. Which, I didn't drink that much. I only had like four drinks and maybe some sips here and there from other people's drinks. Um, it was my birthday, so I thought I deserved a little bit of fun. Yeah, yeah, so I, I destroyed my liver all over again. I stopped drinking after that, um, for like a year, year and a half, maybe two years. So I, I was doing really well with that, too. <laughs> After you get that sick, it's it's kind of one of those things when you're like, I just don't want to do that again. And I was so healthy, and I, I wonder if I should do that again. But sometimes when it gets really bad like this, sometimes the only thing that helps is something. <laughs> like anxiety medicine, or drinking. <laughs> Not drinking, I'm on anxiety medicine right now. Do. <sighs> yeah, it was getting bad. I know I'm not the only person in the world that deals with these issues, and sometimes that makes me feel less alone. But at the same time, I wonder if their issues are just a little bit different than mine, and I'm still very alone, you know? 
because I know we all have our own issues based out of our own realities, our own life stories. The reality is that we all live in a different reality. None of our realities will ever be the same because there's no way you'll ever be able to see the things that I see. Uh, there's no way that you'll ever be able to hear the things that I hear, the way that I hear it, the way that I see it. And there's no way for you to feel the exact same things that I feel. And when I die, I'm going to die alone because no one else is going to die with me. I mean, it could happen. But do we really go together? And I, I know I believe in something higher. So I believe that there's a happy place that I'm going to go. But I wonder if there's a dark route to get there. See, I know that um, I believe in spirits probably one of the reasons why I've been having such an issue is because I know that there's something here. There's something here that has been bothering me in this house, especially in this house. I mean, I've had other things bothering me in other places, but it wasn't as severe. So I know that there's some things that are just a little bit more. And I believe that sometimes we get stuck in a certain place until we can finish what we came here for. I'm working really hard to make sure that I don't go to that place because I want to finish what I came here for before I die. I just, I, I don't know how to go about it fully. I don't know what to do about it fully. I'm working really hard though to make my life a good life. Um, talking to a mentor about being a mentee to business management and being able to open my own business and the ideas that I could have with my own business. Um, working on my book and trying to get that out there. I'm working on getting myself health, healthy, um, trying really hard to stay positive. That's, that's one of those ones that you really, yeah, that's not an easy one. It's not easy at all. I just needed to talk about it. I feel better. Sometimes when they get really bad, they make me feel like I'm like the Antichrist. And I mean, some of them say that I'm not, that I just look like it because of, you know, my exterior tattoos, piercings, um, the fact that I have this disorder, these things that haunt me, um, and just how I look on paper, I guess. There's a lot of things that sometimes happen to me where I, I can get really dark, because I mean, I think we've all been there in that dark place where it's it's hard to come out and you get scared and you have to fight back. Sometimes you fight too hard. You become what they want you to become. deep conversations I want to um, I want to make the world a better place 
because I I want to feel like my life had meaning. I want to feel like I made other people feel like they had a meaning too. Because we all deserve to live. And we all deserve to have a reason to live. Maybe we're not all perfect, but that doesn't mean that there's not something deep within you that was meant to be here. I know that if my children ever watched watch these videos, I wouldn't want them to, I wouldn't want them to be scared, I would want them to feel like I did this for them, like I really wanted to make sure that their lives had meaning, just like everybody else, and yeah. I wanna, um, I think I've talked about this before, I wanna open up a uh, non-profit someday um, that helps to save um, children from conversion um, therapy, um, also to house uh, homeless um, gay youth, um, even maybe even adult um, gays that, you know, have trouble because it's not easy to to be gay in this world it's really not I want them to also know that they are not sinning I want them to believe that they are doing love love's work I want them to believe that they are okay I want to do more than just help gays too, but I mean, if I was going to narrow it down to one thing that really meant something to me, it would be that. I, I want to help mentally ill as well, but to me it's not an illness. There's something beyond this world, and I truly believe that sometimes dark spirits take over, dark things, dark energies. Um, we get stuck in our, our own lives, the, the past. We get stuck in something that happened, in an event. Um, there's a lot of different, I've, like I've labeled, there's seven different ways, seven different things that describe why someone gets this way. Um, whether it be the real truth, what you're hearing is real, what you're seeing is real, what you're feeling is real, or it not be, but it be something that's messing with you, and those are the other seven things. Um, those are the seven things. Um, and I talk about it, describe it in my book. Sometimes um, it's hard to trust anything, and uh, we get insecure. And that is definitely something that we can't be too narcissistic and we can't be too insecure to be able to know what's in front of us. Um, to be able to have that third eye, you know? We have to use our senses the correct way. And we also have to make sure that we cleanse ourselves and our space. Uh, I've cleansed my space here, but there's still a dark energy here that sometimes takes over me in this space, and I don't know what it is yet. Um, but I feel like there's good spirits here too that are trying really hard to break through that, that darkness to be able to make sure that I hear them you believe in something higher, then I think that you would understand having spirit guides or guardian angels. I had a time where I heard my grandmother, 
<laughs> it was one of the best times ever. Except for she didn't come bearing the best of news, but... I missed her. She died when I was 16. And in my early 20s, she came back. Her voice started to talk to me about things. She got me through some things, like... Like, a situation where, um... I was in a bad relationship, and it was an abusive relationship, and she talked me out of that relationship, actually, um, this necklace right here, um, my ex had given me a necklace, she asked me to marry her, I say this a lot, um, I was engaged to her, but I was engaged to her out of fear, because it was after some pretty severe stuff. And that necklace, um, my grandmother said, had some control over me, the voice in my head. So she told me that I needed to take it off, and so I put it in my wallet. She said that I needed to gain back control over myself. The, um... I needed to take back um, myself because um, I was not to be owned by this woman anymore. And I bought a necklace that same exact day. And this is the necklace that I bought. And I got out of that situation safely. I <laughs> had to go to jail to get out safely, but I think it was worth it. I lost everything I owned, but I still had myself. I learned to love myself at certain times, and I really, really learned how to love myself writing this book. I really learned how to love myself writing this book, and I think that, um, I need to learn to love myself again before I can let it out there for the world to hear. Yeah, yeah I do. I need to learn how to let all that bad stuff go. The shaman movement there would actually really help. Clearing the darkness, letting it all go, and just taking it out of your space. Just letting it out, take it out of your space. I feel so much better now. Wow. Alright, so... I hope that people watch this and... Are able to relate. And feel better about themselves. I'm learning how to love myself again right now, and I'm scared even just to post this video right now because so many things have felt like I, I get a dark energy whenever I do these online things, and um, I only really started doing a lot of online stuff to sell my book, um, to get the, the message out there, and then a lot of dark energies started taking over me. A lot of different things started happening and... Yeah. So, I am fearful of posting these kinds of things, but... For those 
kids out there, for those people out there that really needed to hear these things and needed to see someone dealing with the same thing. This is for you. And I want you guys to uh, stay beautiful, stay wonderful, stay amazing, and love yourself. Because you deserve to. You definitely deserve to love yourself. Just as anyone does. Just remember, no matter what, you deserve love from the get-go. We all do. And some of us didn't get it right off the bat. But that doesn't mean that but you won't get it. Alright. I appreciate um, whoever is watching my videos. Because uh, I know there are some people that continuously watch my videos. And I really appreciate that they do that because it shows that they care. Um. I'm glad that people are enjoying and um, I'm gonna start doing more funny stuff once I feel better I'm gonna start probably doing more serious talks as well um, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna go back to doing my activism videos as well because I have I know I'm smart I know I'm smart I have a lot to say and I have a lot uh, to give to the world, and I need to find the best ways to give it to the world. And I'm hoping that this is one of those ways that I can give it to the world. So, thank you to those viewers that keep watching. I appreciate it, and I appreciate the love. And if you guys want to let me know who you are out there that, um, that are doing it, I would love to have a conversation with you. Um, if I don't already have conversations with you. Thank you guys. Love and peace.